happy frugal friday to you i'm so excited for this frugal friday because i have found a complete dupe for the Naked 3 palette, and it is the Coastal Scents Revealed 2 palette. We're talking exact dupe for literally a quarter of the price. Not only is the Revealed palette an exact dupe for the Naked 3 palette, but you're also given eight more shades. So 20 eyeshadows total for about $10 if you get it on sale on Coastal Scents website compared to $50 that you would pay for the Naked 3 palette. The look that I created for you today using this palette is a pinky purple, really beautiful eyeshadow look. And it's perfect for Valentine's Day that's coming up here soon as well. But before we get into the tutorial, I did want to show you side-by-side -side swatches between the Reveal 2 palette and the Naked 3 palette so you can see how close the colors really are. Unreal. I have to tell you, I'm so impressed with the Reveal 2 palette. I did not have high expectations for it, but it has exceeded every hope and dream that I had for a palette that cost this much, or I should say cost this little. Such a cheap investment for really great eyeshadows. Let me show you how to recreate the look that I did with the Reveal 2 palette. Beginning with a primer, and I'm using the Wet n Wild Fergie one for this look today. And the first eyeshadow we're going to take from the Revealed 2 palette is that really light pink. It's about the second shade in on the top row, and I'm applying it onto the brow bone with a fluffy brush. For the crease, I'm taking a matte, light, rosy pink. This shade is dupable with Naked 3's Limit. And I'm applying this lightly into the crease with a fluffy brush, blending it up and into the brow. Then I'm taking the third shade in on the bottom and using this to deepen up the crease. And once I have a small amount deposited there, I'm gonna go back with my first crease color and blend these two together. With this beautiful mulberry shade in the palette, I'm applying this with the Sigma E25 on the outer third of the lid and blending this into the outer V also. This is actually a very close dupe to Max Deep Damson, and I feel like Deep Damson is one of those shades that goes really nicely with the Naked 3 palette, so I really like that Coastal Scents included a shade like that in here. I'm also applying this eyeshadow onto the inner third of the lid, and I'm using a very very small smudger brush with a tiny amount applied so that there isn't too much product there. With this glittery pink eyeshadow comparable to Naked 3's Dust, I'm applying this wet and to do this I'm spritzing it with the e.l.f. Makeup Misting Spray and applying it onto the center of the lid, blending it into that mulberry shade that we applied earlier. For my eyeliner, I'm taking this deep burgundy black eyeshadow from the Revealed 2 palette, comparable to Blackheart from the Naked 3 palette, and I'm using this to line the upper lash line as well as the lower lash line. And once I have a good amount of that deposited, I'm going to go back with the mulberry shade that we applied earlier, and I'm taking a smudger brush and using the mulberry shade to smudge out that black line and soften it. And what happens when you mix the mulberry shade in with the black shade is it turns into this reddish purple. It's a really beautiful, unique looking eyeliner. And I'm filling in the brows with a pencil from Physicians Formula. This is in Soft Blonde, I think, something like that. Applying some mascara to complete the eyes, and you can stop here if you like. I'm gonna go one step further and apply some falsies. These are in a style called Goddess from Coco Lashes, and they are so pretty. I already applied my face and I'm starting with a bronzer. This is also from Coastal Scents. Unfortunately, it was a little bit too dark. I don't know what it is. Every single bronzer is always too dark. So less is more if you're really fair with this shade. I had to use the Makeup Geek uh, face buffer brush to buff it into my skin after I applied it so that it did look a lot more natural afterwards. I also used this bronzer down the sides of my nose. 
For my blush, I'm going back to the Coastal Sense 26 Shadow and Blush Palette, and I'm taking the lightest pink blush from here and applying it onto the apples of the cheeks. And this shade is very reminiscent of the e.l.f. HD blush in Headliner. It reminds me of that color almost identically. And to finish the look, I'm applying a light pink lipstick. This is L'Oreal's Merino Mauve. Amazing. If you have been lusting over the Naked 3 palette, but you don't want to shell out $50 to get it, this is a great replacement for it. High quality, comparable in pigmentation. I guarantee you won't be disappointed by it. So you can save your money on buying the Naked 3 and spend it on something else, like shoes. Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next Friday. And not only is the Revealed 2 palette in a... <laughs> Stay open. <laughs> I wanted to show you side by swipe, side by swipe, side by swipe.